It looks as though North Korea is developing a new 2,000 ton submarine capable of launching a long range ballistic missile. According to U.S. military intelligence sources, the submarine will be the largest the regime has ever built. Defense Ministry correspondent Kim Yun bin reports. U.S. military intelligence has detected the construction of a new diesel submarine in North Korea's Shinpo shipyard on its east coast. According to Diplomat magazine on Wednesday, U.S. intelligence estimates the sub to be a 2,000-ton vessel capable of launching a submarine launch ballistic missile, or SRBM. The vessel is the largest the regime has constructed since building its Najing class frigates. The U.S. intelligence community believes the new sub will succeed the Kodak class ballistic missile submarine, the only sub that can launch a Pukuksong-1 SRBM. North Korea has carried out four SRBM ejection tests this summer, with the last taking place on July 30th. U.S. intelligence also believes the regime is currently developing a new SRBM known as the Pukuksong-3, which uses an advanced airframe made of lighter composite materials that would increase the range of the missile. Amid increasing ballistic missile threats from the north, the U.S. 6th Fleet test fired one of its most advanced missile interceptors, the Standard Missile 6, off the Scottish coast. U.S. 6th Fleet released a statement after the test on Sunday that the SM-6 was launched from an Aegis destroyer and successfully intercepted an incoming ballistic missile. Raytheon, the missile manufacturers, said that the SM-6 is the only missile that can be used for both anti-air and anti-surface warfare, meaning that the missile could be used to counter North Korea's nuclear facilities and intercept the regime's ballistic missiles, which continue to develop rapidly. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.